Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and today is just a very simple tutorial. Uh, here's what we're going to be creating today. So if I just uh, scroll down here, you'll see this empty section and we get this text fade in here. Keep scrolling and then the rest of the text fades in like that and then we unpin. So as you can see, we're using um, a pinned element here, which is just the section. Uh, once it's pinned, we are pinning this for a duration of minus 200% as you'll see. And then inside that we have two animation nodes, one here, which has its own class. And then here, this is a span. This is a second span. This is a third span. The first and third span use the same class as you can see. And then the second span here uses a unique span as well. But yeah, it's quite simple. Nothing too uh, crazy about this. I just thought I'd make this. It was uh, it was requested by one of our customers, and I did say I would probably make this into a tutorial. So here it is. Um, but yeah, let's get started. All right. So first of all, I've just gone ahead and made a new page here in Oxygen, and all I'm going to do first is just add some dummy content here from a design set. So I'm just going to add something like this. We'll add another one. Something simple something like this and then what I want to do in the middle I want to add our own section pop that in the middle I'm just going to rename this over here something like pinned element and then I'm just going to change the background color over here something like that I also want to change the height something like a hundred viewport height works fine I'm also going to give it a unique ID here pin section and then the last thing I want to do is just center align everything. And then I'm going to add a heading, make this a heading two. I'm just going to copy and paste some text that I prepared over here. And essentially all I want to do is just create three spans out of this. So up to here, I want to create a span. I'm going to create a class for this span. It's going to be MP span second because this text wants to come in second. Uh, I don't want this to come in first, so I'm just going to give it a class like this. We'll style it up a little bit, so let's just make the typography a uh, primary color like that. Also, I want to go to layout and just make sure the inline is checked just so that the, the text is literally inline. Like that. And then from here up to homes, well let's do up to the, the colon here actually. We'll make this another span. And we actually want this span to come in first. So I'm just going to call this MP span first. Once again, I just want to make this inline and then we'll, ch we'll give this a background color. Something like that. And we'll also make the typography uh, a lighter color over here like that. And then finally, we want this to be a span. And we'll just add the, uh, the class that we added here. Second and that should change automatically. So that's what I want it to look like. Now I'm just going to save this in oxygen and then let's go over to motion page where we add the magic. Okay, so as you can see, I've just opened motion page. I'm going to create a new timeline here. I'm going to rename this to um, pin uh, text span, something like that. Let's find that page that we just made. All right, this is going to be a scroll trigger trigger. We want it to lock to scroll bar at 0.2. That's just a value that I like to use. We do have a pinned element. I'm just going to select it using the scanner here, pin section. And then we want to say when the top of this section reaches the top of the viewport, which is 0%, we want it to start pinning. And then the same thing again when the top reaches minus 100, which essentially means once again, um, the height of itself. And then down here we can start our animations. So I'm going to select our first span here, which is MP span first. And then we want it to start with an opacity of zero. I also want there to be a slight delay. So I'm going to move this up to one second. And then what I'm going to do is from around here, add a second. And then I'm going to select the second span this time. I will do the same thing, opacity from zero. All right, so make sure this is live. So you can see we're scrolling, that fades in. Now I do actually want there to be a slight pause there and I want this to actually last a little bit longer as well. 
So as I scroll down, that's going to come in quite fast like this. And then the second text like that. And that's it. It's a very simple animation. If I view this on the front, scroll down. It's a little bit fast. So one nice trick that you can do is uh, if you change this value to minus 200, that basically means it's going to scroll for longer, which means the animations will last longer. So we'll view that. Go back to the top here. Refresh. Scroll down. Yeah, that's much better for me. It's just a little bit longer. It's not so snappy anymore. So yeah, I think using a value of minus 200 uh, in this case is much better. So there you have it guys, just a very simple tutorial today once again. I do apologize for the delay. I will be back with another video this week uh, just to make up for the, uh, the lost time. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you're not already. And uh, I will be back very soon with another video. Thank you very much.